Hello, I'm Alex from Charlotte's Tandems and I'm going to show you how to adjust the bottom bracket of a tandem. So, here we are with a, a tandem and you can see that the pedals are out of line with them, one another. And this can be dangerous when you go around a corner. For instance here you see the one at the back is leaning over, touching the bottom, that could be scraping along the floor. So, first of all, turn the bike upside down and here that's the bottom bracket. You zoom in here, you can see that the chain is quite loose and this can often mean that the chain then falls off and that the um, cranks are now out of line. So first thing to do uh, is check whether the chain is actually stretched too much and if this tool goes in then it's uh, too loose. Okay, That shows that, that that chain has stretched a lot. Just checking both sides of that gauge. It's a nice simple tool, it only costs a couple of pounds to buy. Okay, so what we're going to do is first of all take the chain off. This is very easy. Since it's so loose, you just rotate the chain around. And it just drops off. You pull it off like this. Okay, so there's the chain off. I've prepared another one to put on here. Make sure you use a single speed chain for this job. And you probably need to use two chains because they're usually not long enough. So I've prepared this one to be the same length as the other one. You simply put it on like this. Get the chains roughly aligned. And here you can see this is now too tight and won't go on. So what we're going to do is undo these bolts here, first of all. First thing to do is to get rid of any dirt from in here. This is called the eccentric bottom bracket. Get rid of any dirt. Put some oil on. First thing to do is to undo the screws that are underneath the bottom bracket. Here I'm using an Allen key. Sometimes they're quite tight. Uh, I've already undone these a little bit. And then on the side here you can see two holes. These are used to adjust the bottom bracket to make the chain tighter or looser. So there's various ways that you can undo these. Um, some people use tools such as this, this pin spanner. Unfortunately the holes on this um, tandem are too big for the pins on this spanner and it just doesn't do anything as you can see in the picture. So what I, what I tend to do is stick something into the one of the holes I've put an allen key in here and then get another bar and then force it round you can see they're now roughly in line and we just need to tighten this up a little bit and let's go this way and now that's now too tight try again right up. You do, no, you can see this is now extremely tight, that's too tight again. We just want it a little bit sloppy. Okay, there's a little bit of play there now. The last thing to do is to do up the bolts underneath, make sure they're really tight. There you go. So now that's is that right? There you go. Nice. Turn the bike back over. And away we go.